hi guys so this is one of a demo lecture uh, welcome to the general embryology series and instead of using powerpoint i'm going to be using this really cool app called inkflow so that i can write stuff down right so today our topic of discussion is going to be cell division but since it's a trial video i'm just going to discuss mitosis and if this video goes well and i get a positive feedback then i, I can do a better video on meiosis all right so before we understand mitosis, let's understand what exactly cell division is. So in cell division, one cell is going to get converted into two cells. However, their ploidy is going to be maintained. All right? Now I'm sure you've heard the word haploid and the diploid. So in case of mitosis, we are still dealing with what is known as a diploid set of chromosomes. So, what exactly is chromosomes? We need to understand a little bit more about the DNA before we understand chromosomes. So, this is what the DNA looks like. Everybody knows it's called deoxyribonucleic acid. I'm not going to go much into detail about its structure, but you know about the Watson and Crick model, the purines, the pyrimidines, and how they form the nucleotides, etc. As the DNA starts folding, it kind of folds over certain molecules that are known as histones. Now, there's an octama of histones, which again, we don't want to talk about details in. But this is basically a histone core. And you can see the DNA winding around that, forming what is known as a nucleosome. Okay, it's a bead-like structure. And this nucleosome keeps on folding and superfolding upon itself to form a structure that is denoted by the light purple color over here and that structure is known as chromatin. Now the chromatin is normally present loosely arranged in the cell nucleus and it is only when the cell is just about to begin division that it enters a phase that is known as the S phase. The S phase also stands for synthesis phase and in the S phase is when the DNA starts undergoing a process that is known as replication. So the chromatin literally becomes double, the DNA becomes double and while it is doing so, it is also entering the first phase of mitosis that is known as Prophase. Okay, so just remember that the duration of a cell's life cycle between mitotic divisions or the non dividing stage of a cell is known as an interphase. Okay, and then it enters the S phase just when it is about to start the cell cycle or enter the cell cycle which leads to mitosis right before we get into that i just wanted you to understand the difference between chromatin and chromatid so when the chromatin starts arranging itself as it coils and super coils it forms a more compact structure that looks like a rod and that rod is known as chromatid and as this rod keeps on replicating it takes over the structure of an X and the entire X is known as a chromosome so a chromosome is essentially two sister chromatids that are joined towards the center at a structure that is known as the centromere it is along this line this vertical line that the centromere splits when the actual splitting part of mitosis also known as anaphase happens so you can take a screenshot of this and just read this amazing slide from simply.science i think which kind of explains the difference between chromatin chromatid which is a highly condensed and well arranged super coiled form of chromatin and chromosome which is essentially the X-shaped 
uh, structure that is a replicated chromatid or two sister chromatids joined in the center by the means of a centromere. So, A, stage number one is prophase. Very simple to remember, you just have to say that the chromatin starts coiling, super coiling and condensing. Right, so it's C, 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 coiling, super coiling and condensing to form chromatids. Now, when you discuss mitosis, you can always talk about changes occurring inside the nucleus and changes occurring outside the nucleus. So, what is occurring outside the nucleus in prophase is that the centrioles are now going to split to form two centrioles and sometimes the stage between stage A and the next stage that is metaphase is an intermediate stage that is known as prometaphase. So, what is prometaphase? The centrioles are seen aligning towards the poles of the cell while the chromatin just continues its super coiling and condensing process right so intranuclear changes remain the same they're just getting more compact but extranuclear changes the centrioles are headed towards the opposite side or the two poles of the cell so what lies between the two poles of the cell is known as the equator and that is exactly what happens in the metaphase. So, you can remember M for middle, M for metaphase. What is happening is that the chromosomes and this is the terminal stage of the chromosomes. This is also known as metaphase chromosome, which is the most highly compact version, the most compactly folded version of chromatin in the form of an X carrying replicated DNA is known as a chromosome and it consists of two sister chromatids as you saw and they are arranged along the equator. So, both the centrioles are arranged along the poles and the chromosomes are arranged along the equator. This is known as metaphase, alright. And what is coming out from the centrioles is known as microtubules and these microtubules form what is known as the spindle apparatus, alright. S-P-I-N-D-L-E, read about it, spindle apparatus, okay. So, the spindle apparatus is formed and the microtubules are attached to the centromere of the chromosome. So, the microtubules attach here to the centromere on either side and then comes the next phase that is your anaphase. What happens in anaphase is that there is centromere splitting. Okay, You can call it centromere splitting. Technically, this is a proteolytic cleavage. I don't know if you remember this word proteolytic cleavage. That means some protein is occurring lysis and that enzyme that leads to the lysis of the centromere region is known as cohesinase. Okay, The protein is known as cohesin and the enzyme that is responsible for splitting of the centromere is known as cohesinase. Okay? Forgive my horrible handwriting, <laughs> it's on the iPad screen. So, cohesinase is an enzyme that basically leads to splitting of the centromere and thus both the sister chromatids are splitting apart and we move on to the next phase that is known as the telophase. So, what happens in telophase is that the sister chromatids have now reached the opposite poles and the nuclear membrane starts reappearing, okay, the nuclear membrane starts reappearing and finally you have what is known as cytokinesis where the cytoplasm also equally differentiates to form the two daughter cells okay now in certain processes like oogenesis which is obviously going to be discussed in meiosis the two cells are not of equal size so the one of the cells is functional and the other is left out as what is known as a polar body. So, we will talk about that in uh, the lecture on oogenesis, right. So, this is a cool uh, immunofluorescence image from the 40th edition of Gray's. This is showing the mitotic spindle, alright. So, this is essentially the metaphase. What you see here is the 
anaphase. Now what you see here is the cytoplasmic splitting that's happening. So that's telophase. All right. So remember prophase, coiling, supercoiling and condensation. Centrioles start migrating towards the poles. Prometophase, the centrioles have reached the poles and are now extruding out the microtubules. Metaphase, the fully condensed chromosome has arranged itself along the equator and the mitotic spindle is formed. Anaphase, because of centromere splitting, the sister chromatids are now headed towards either side. that is pulled by the mitotic spindle, correct? And finally, telophase, where the nuclear membrane reappears and the cytoplasm starts dividing equally in most cases, thus forming two daughter cells, All right? Thank you for listening. This is a trial video. Let me know how you find it because next we're going to go into meiosis, which gets a little more interesting and complicated. Bye.